The name of today's video is Name That NBA Bum. Now, I don't want y'all to be mad at me. I didn't create this quiz. I didn't name the quiz. I'm just taking it. So the players on this list may not even be bums, but don't come at me. Don't come at me. Come at the creator, or not even the creator, because it's not even the name of the official quiz. Come at the person that tweeted at me. Now, the actual name of the quiz is Name This NBA Player for the Real NBA Fan. Made for King of the Fourth Quarter, who is a real NBA fan. Name these lesser-known, mostly irrelevant NBA players from each team for the 2016 NBA season. If you're a real NBA fan, you should get every answer right made for King of the Fourth Quarter. Now, is there really 30 questions in this quiz? Oh, my God. So, the most irrelevant players. Maybe that's the name of the video. I'll figure it out later. The most irrelevant player on all 30 teams. So the first one we got Marjorie. I don't know how to pronounce his first name, but I don't even know if I pronounced his last name right, but without a doubt, him. Second one, we got one of the Harrison brothers. This one is uh, Aaron Harrison. I don't even know where Andrew Harrison's even playing. I don't even know if Andrew Harrison's in the league. He may be overseas. He may be in the D league, but Aaron Harrison, there it is. Number three is um, Willie Hearn Gomez. Willie Hearn Gomez, his brother Juan Hearn Gomez plays in Denver, but I just watched these guys play last night against the uh, the Spurs, and pretty good game for him, actually. Number four is Papa Giannis. I'm pretty sure he was a lottery pick, man. Papa Giannis, the Kings organization, drafted big after big last year. This guy, again, not know how to pronounce his name, but he's the only guy in the league that broke back the granny shot at the free throw line. Oh, how about oh, yes. the, oh, yeah, the underhand free uh, throw on a walk Five out of five. Number six is Pat Cunning. I see. I'm so bad with names. If I don't hear it, I have trouble because my reading skills aren't up there. That's a joke. But he went to Notre Dame and he had a big block. Somebody even said that in the video from a couple weeks ago. They commented like he had one of the biggest blocks in NCAA history. And I looked it up and for sure he did. He definitely did. Number seven is Diamond Stone. Number seven is Diamond Stone. It took me a second because I don't think I've ever really seen Bryce Johnson's face until just now. I think that's him in a picture, the other Clipper jersey. There's a lot of bums in this picture. You got Bebe. I wouldn't consider Bebe a bum. How about, I'm not going to say bum, irrelevant. Let's keep it to irrelevant. You got Bebe. You got Diamond Stone. You got Bruno Caboclo. You got Bryce Johnson. I don't, I've never seen this face before. Hopefully, he's not on the quiz because I have no idea who that is. Number eight is Josh Eustis, went to Stanford, he came out, supposed to be a defensive specialist, has yet to really see much playing time. Number nine is DeAndre Liggins, he's not really irrelevant, he started a couple games for the Cavs, um, nice defensive player, I'm, I, I guess. Number ten, is it Brian Forbes or Brian Forbes, but I know his last name's Forbes, and uh... Summer League, he had one or two really good games, and I was like, okay, maybe this guy's gonna make the roster, I don't, I guess he made the roster, I haven't seen him. Number 11 is C.J. Wilcox. Chris Smoove. Ah, they funny. They did say that Chris Smoove and him look alike, and I kind of see it in the nose area, but that's C.J. Wilcox. Um, This one is Tomas Satoransky. Satoransky. Uh, 11, Kevon Looney. We should all know that. He's actually in the rotation now since um, Zaza's injured. This is Malik Beasley. Nice rookie who's yet to really crack the rotation considering Denver has so many young players in their team. Denver just made a trade today. We'll talk about that a little later. This is Jerry and Grant, or Jaron Grant. It, I don't know how you pronounce it, but a Grant brother plays for my Bulls. I actually like this player a lot. I got to see him live at a Windy City Bulls game when they sent him down to the D-League. In that game, he put up 34 points. A nice player. He's been starting for us lately because we don't... Our, our point guard position in Chicago is really... Every position in Chicago is really messed up. Number 16 is Joseph Young. Justice Young. Yeah, let's put Justice on the list. Number 17, that is uh, Malcolm Delaney. I, I haven't really seen him play. I think this is like one of his first seasons in the league. Haven't really seen him play, but I know his face. That is um, Hillard. That's Hillard. I don't know why I know that, because I don't even watch Detroit basketball. But I know that, man. Real NBA fans should not get anything wrong. Troy Williams? Oh, that face is very unfamiliar. Yes, all right. Troy Williams, I'll take that. Because I know I've seen Jarnell, um, Jarnell Martin. I've seen Troy Daniels. Allen Williams, I think he may play in Phoenix. So, okay. Process elimination gets us that right. Number 20, that is Check Diallo. Easy. 21 is Isaiah Whitehead. 22, 
TJ McConnell. See, he's not irrelevant. TJ is not irrelevant. He has made some big shots for this team, including a couple buzzer beaters for W's. And he's not irrelevant. He's definitely, definitely not irrelevant. This guy's irrelevant, but that's Demetrius Jackson. Still pretty young. Has yet to crack the rotation on the Boston team that has a lot of guards. A lot of good guards. Not just, maybe not even a lot. Just some good guards. And he hasn't cracked the rotation. 24 is Tyler, Tyler uh, Ulis. Really good summer league for him. But again, very similar. They got some, a lot of guards, man. Brandon Knight, Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker. Just, just know they got a lot of guards that he really, I don't know, maybe he plays more this season. Not too sure. This is Huertas. Marcelo Huertas. Um, oh, I know how to. Bielitsa? Is that how you pronounce it, Bielitsa? I, I, I know the answer. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Again, if, if I've never heard it, I'm not going to pronounce it. Um, that one, you guys told me how to pronounce this guy's name, but I still haven't got it. I don't know how relevant he is, but I'm pretty sure he's started some games this season for them. Ooh, 28. Uh, uh, no, it's not. That's not a tough one. Um, just by the process elimination, Gary Harris plays in Denver. Orlando Johnson, I don't even think he's still in the league, but he, he in the facial features, he kind of looks like Orlando Johnson, so that's a good curveball. And I know Holmes plays in um, uh, Philadelphia, so it's got to be that guy. This guy's not irrelevant at all. He's probably like number two or number three in Rookie of the Year behind, of course, the process. No no doubt the process is getting Rookie of the Year. But Malcolm Brogdon, he was a nice steal in this draft. Can we go 30 for 30? Yes, we will, because that's Rodney McGruder. McGruder. And he's made the news lately because of this. Oh, boy. McGruder, the blow by. Oh! So 30 out of 30, without a doubt, um, I guess I am a real NBA fan getting 30 out of 30 out of the most irrelevant players in the league. So if you enjoyed the videos, always be sure to leave it a like. I'll be back tomorrow with, of course, some more fire. You guys click off the video, but I want to talk about something again. Um, today is the first official episode of the Foul Shot Show. I talked about it a couple days ago, but today we're starting it. So if you like NBA, I really encourage you guys to go over to my second channel and watch today's video. Just watch the first one. If you do not like it, it's fine. You don't have to stay around. You don't have to subscribe there. But I think you all should give it, um, give it a try because I'm putting basically double the amount of work I put on this channel. I'm putting over on there in hopes that it's, it is successful. I'm sure you guys will definitely enjoy it if you like basketball. So um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. I don't know which video is going to be up first, this one or the first episode there. But if the first episode there is up first, that'll be the first link. And if it's not, just be subscribed there and be checking your subscription feed over and over. So thank you guys so much for all the love. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm out.